So hot air balloon works on a really simple principles. It, hotter air is going to lift and rise. So we use propane for our fuel and we have tanks inside the basket here um, made out of aluminum, steel, or titanium depending on what you, what you own. They run up through these hoses, the fuel runs through these hoses into the burners and it's preheated into the coils here. That's the burner I'm going to fly on most of the time. That's going to keep consistent heat in the wind. Now if I happen to be flying over cattle, I want to go with a quieter burn. If you'll notice, it's not quite as sharp on the ears. Um, that one is straight liquid propane shooting out and it's a, it's a darker flame. You can see it more. I always say it looks like dragon's breath. <laughs> and then when, well, while we're flying, we're going to add heat to the balloon to keep us buoyant, to keep us in the air. We have this red line here that goes up to that parachute. If you see the white dot in the center, and then the colors come out from that. I'll just pop it. Can you see how it moves? That will let the heat out of the top of the balloon. So it allows us to come back down to the earth. So I work my burners like a brake. You just kind of want to slowly come back down to the earth. You let a little heat out, put a little heat in, and bring it down. smoothly to the earth. <laughs> so the fabric itself, this darker blue here is called Nomex. It's similar to what the firemen are going to wear. It's a fire retardant material. And then the next layer is a nylon. It's called Rip Stop Nylon. And then in the very top of the balloon in our colors, we have a hyperlast material, meaning if we just judge the field wrong, we lay over and happen to bump into a barbed wire fence and poke a hole in the balloon, you can literally rub that fabric together, it'll reseed itself and be okay. Hmm. <laughs> Not that that's ever happened. <laughs> the baskets or gondolas, both terms are correct. They are made out of wicker. You can see one guy will hand weave this wicker in about two weeks time. The biggest longa burger baskets ever. <laughs> so really that is, that's pretty much it on the equipment. We do carry aircraft radio, uh, radio communication for our truck so we can keep in contact, GPS to know where we're going, kind of get a general idea. And from a technology standpoint, it's pretty simple. <laughs>